Hello, it is me, Ryan, or Ryan from Ryan Studios, and I have a set review here for you guys today, and this is Lego Harry Potter Hogwarts Wampum Willow, set 75953. It is recommended for ages 8 to 14, and it has 753 pieces. Here's the set, and now we are going to go closely in depth with the minifigures. You can see right here we have Harry Potter, and this is the uh, iteration of him when he returns to Hogwarts in the second movie and you can see uh, his hair uh, his wand his face print all that um, he has a dark brown wand which is really cool the new wand piece I really like that piece that they use for Harry and you can see his scar through the hair and his his eyebrows his glasses which are a little smirk and then his scared more uh, scared face and this uh, torso kind of reminds me of like the classic werewolf torso, even though Harry isn't a werewolf. And then he has the regular short uh, dark gray, bluish gray legs. And I think he's one of my favorite minifigures in the set. The second minifigure is Ron Weasley, and he has Luke Skywalker's hairpiece in the uh, orange color, the darker orange, which I really like. And you can see his uh, normal brown wand. Uh, I really wish they actually broke uh, his wand from when the scene in the car. Um, there will be spoilers for the second Harry Potter in this. I know Harry Potter and Star Wars and spoilers are Marvel spoilers are big kind of movie spoilers. So just a fair warning to everyone. Uh, you could see his nice uh, vest or uh, sweater. And then you can see the design continues on the back. You can see a couple of his freckles right here. If I just focus on that. Um, he has like a kind of a smirk and then on the back he has a scared face similar to Harry and he has dark brown um, small legs. Now this third minifigure is Hermione Granger and she's one of the more blander minifigures. Uh, she just has a casual Gryffindor uniform and you can see her hair piece is newer. She has cells the bangs and you can kind of see that in the back. You see her face and then she also has a scared face. And you can see she has the dark tan wand and uh, black pants. Now you can see this is Seamus Finnegan, and he is also one of the more blander minifigures. He has the uh, sleepy head rustled hairpiece. He also has a nice smiled face with some freckles. And you can see on the back he has a worried face. Maybe he might uh, fail Snape's class. And you can also see he has the same wand as Hermione and the same torso and legs. Uh, this is actually the first ever um, iteration of Seamus Finnegan in Lego. I know he's in the Lego video games, but this is the first iteration. Now, this is uh, the second class minifigure and Severus Snape, who is one of my favorite minifigures from this set. I really like his uh, the hairpiece, which was used on the other Snapes. And he also has a, a really, really accurate uh, face. You can see a disappointed face, which kind of reminds me of, of another face. This one just reminds me of that, and I think that's really cool. You see some printing on the back. He has a black wand, and you can also see his uh, jack uh, jacket and um, his purple shirt under that. And he is probably one of my favorite minifigures in the set because it is the first actual version of Snape I've had. I've made a custom version of him, but it's uh, pretty bad. Now this is my. One of my favorite um, minifigures in this set is along with Snape, and this is Argus Filch. And you could see he has that new lantern piece, which is also given to Hagrid in the Great Hall. And you could see his, uh, I think this might be a newer hair piece. I think it might have been used in the Lego movie Blind Bag series. But you could see his, his really, really cool torso and legs. I really, the one thing that bugs me about this minifigure is that the, the, Ray doesn't continue around. They could have dual molded that, but I could see why they didn't. You can see his belt on him, his torso, and his uh, trench coat, and then there's just the little strap on the back, and you can see his tie and his shirt. I really like his uh, disapproving uh, face print with the sideburns, and in his uh, super angry look, which really uh, matches Argus Filch's personality. And he is also one of my favorite minifigures of the set, and I'm glad to have them. Now, for the Ford Angelina. You can see with this Ford Angelina, it has a, 
it was super accurate to the actual one from the movie. You can see it's lights here and it's really cool actually. It's silver uh, piece and you can see some more silver and the uh, bumper sticker. And the doors, I like how they printed this. I don't like how they continue di uh, didn't continue it and it's also false advertising. I'll show you why. When you look at this, it's completely pure white. But in the actual model, it's not much, doesn't make me very happy. You can see the wheels are a bit smaller, and there's actually this really cool upside down technique that was used to achieve this little angle. You also see the side mirrors, and I one of my favorite parts is probably the back. Uh, it introduces a couple new recolors of pieces, such as these pieces, which are fa fairly new, but this is recolored, and you can also see. That and the back here, if you lift this up, there's two suitcases. There's nothing in it, but it's just two suitcases with the same exact sticker. You can see that it just pops out, and there is the little. But uh, it looks really cool, and I like the curves on it. It's really nice. Cooler parts of it, and one of the best car uh, builds I've seen in now, a while. This is probably one of the weakest parts of the set, which is kind of sad because it's supposed to be one of the main parts of the set. This is the Wampum Willow. And I have a couple nitpicks with this set, but other than that, that's pretty cool. Number one, I don't really like these holes there. It's just, it just doesn't look that great. Um, this tech, this uh, spinning thing works really well. I really like that, and I like all the little lines that come out of it. One thing I just still don't understand, why is this gray? Because the last time I checked, I don't think trees can grow on a giant stone. So, yeah, that's just a little thing. They could have made one. I would have liked one in, like, this color or just a normal green. Or, like, a dark green. But I don't see why they had to do it in gray. You can see it's the hollowed out version of it. Then, I liked how they used these, but I wish they had just recolored that. This kind of sticks out too much, but it still looks pretty cool. And it just spins around. And now for this part of it, which... It's not my favorite part. It only looks good when the car is in it. So now I'll show you what the car looks like. That's what it looks it. like. It looks a lot nicer. And one of my biggest, 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 biggest complaints about this is if I remove that. Oh, you just heard it. These things. They fall off. They, they're, it's not even a legal connect um, or a legal technique. I'll show you just if you've built the set. You know it's a pain in the butt. You just pop that in. It doesn't really come out as much when you spin it around. But do like this. Like kind of tug on it a little bit. They just fall off. Like I wasn't even trying on this one. And then that one fell off. So it's really. I'm definitely going to modify this. Take those out. Do it something else with it. Because I just don't really like it. I would rather have it like this kind of hole. Than have that there. Um, but I do like. These are actually really cool. But then one of my other nitpicks about this is the fact that, like, that's gray. But, once again, not a big concern. But the biggest, 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 biggest thing about this is that there's not a lot of branches. And I said it only looks really that good when the car's in it because the car, like, kind of um, makes it look like a complete tree. Which, um, yeah, that's kind of sad. But I could see what why they did it and it's already worth it's already a seven dollar set and it's supposed to be worth seventy five dollars and three and thirty cents um if you have exactly on ten cents per piece so now we're just going to go into the actual castle part of it which is probably one of the coolest so parts now that i have moved the minifigures you can see this is a really really cool part it's not very accurate to the movie which i mentioned in uh the music man reviewers live stream but it's still uh really cool it holds up well this is probably one of my favorite parts of this. How the just the rolling function. It's just it's not really a function. You just push it through the arch and it just looks really. Cl it's just really clean, and you could just see all the details out. This I just don't like how this and right there are exactly the same. It, like rocks aren't repetitive in a way, and they don't look exactly the same unless you make it look like that. So I just thought that was weird. But yeah, so you can see there's a lot of tower parts. There's one here. There's one there, and there's one there. It looks really cool. I do like this really uh, cool new piece they use. And this is also a new piece, I believe. Uh, it looks really nice and spiffy. And I do like these new uh, 
leaf pieces. I know they were introduced earlier this year, but this is actually my first time having them, and I think they look really nice. Now, I'm just going to go over here. Uh, there's a lot of cool uh, and really interesting angles that I had never really thought of. Uh, you have kind of that three uh, uh, 90 degree angle here, and it just it splits like that. And I also found a recolored piece. This is actually dark brown instead of the regular brown, and it's actually not a um, old piece that you think of. There's a lot of potions in the back here. One thing that I don't really like as much is how it's spread out. I know this is part of the potion, this is part of the potion, and this is part of the potion, but I just want them to all be in one. Uh, but yeah, yet again, I still really like this set. You can see the lanterns. I will be getting the Great Hall soon, actually. I might order it today, which is October 29th, and it might come on like Wednesday, and I might build it on Friday or something. But yeah, I'm really excited for that. It's going to replace this and that. And I'll just use the pieces for this and that uh, to uh, do something else in the castle. I will definitely will modify it, but after I do a review for it. Because I like to keep my reviews exactly how I have it. Um, I really like this 2x3 uh, tile, actually. This is my first time having it. I, knew it's, I know it's a new, newer piece, or somewhat newer. But once again, really cool. Same with these pieces. I know they're, new, they're pretty older. Like... Like from like a late last year, but I it's my first time having them as far as I'm concerned. I don't know, maybe they're in my UCS Hogwarts, but there are 6,020 pieces in there, and that's a lot of pieces to keep track of. You see, if you lift that out, there's a Trevor in there, which I don't know why they have no, don't have Neville Longbottom in the set. Then you can see there's a broom in the little uh, barrel, and more potions on the rack there. And you can see just there's a couple stickers uh, representing like different guys this piece is actually new or they're newer i have to say um and then i like that how they uh just integrate pink pieces into that i really like the way they use these cauldrons because i remember in the older harry potter sets they used the enormous cauldrons or like that big and they looked really really bad and then this is probably one of my favorite parts it's snape's office and just because of two little uh, pieces um, you can see this little lamp right here, which is not that, and then the quill. You can see this, uh, I don't know why this would be in Snape's office, but it's, it's about, it says Wingardium Leviosa here. And then it just has scribbles right there, and it just says turn your wand and it'll make it fly up, which I thought is really cool. And then it says Daily Prophet, exclusive Harry Potter, the boy who lived and has a picture of Harry, which I really like as well. And if I just take that table off, you can see... There's the chair, or the stool, and then they have another barrel with an axe and a hammer, another candle, um, some more potion stuff, and some frames. If I put this back, the Gryffindor common room is just the two beds, a uh, Gryffindor poster, and a candle, which is kind of weak, but I guess they just put threw it in there. I would rather have, like, maybe some sort of broom closet and have the Gryffindor common room in, like, another set. And then up here we have the Owlry, I have my second head wig, and then there's an empty uh, tile that needs to be with a uh, letter. So I actually do have two head wigs, so there's one there, and there's one there, and I know there's one in the Great Hall, so I'll have three. Maybe I can just give one to my sister, um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. And you can see they also use those uh, ski pieces, which are used in this UCS Hogwarts. This definitely brought back some memories from the UCS Hogwarts watch. This is why I probably like the castle part of it a lot more. And that's it for this video, guys. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.